Sam Smyers here. Today I wanted to talk about three different techniques that you can use to isolate vocals from songs. These three techniques will be useful for you if you don't have access to a studio acapella, but you still want to make a remix of a song. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Before we get into the video, if you enjoy videos like this, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos just like this. For the example song, we are going to use my song Friends, and I of course have the acapella and the instrumental, so we'll be using those as references. Let's check out the song real quick. Here is the track. And let me play you the studio acapella. Every single time I try to talk to you, end up biting my tongue, 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 yeah. Cross my fingers, I don't want to mess this up, because I think you're really fun, 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 yeah. What we want to try to do is we want to figure out a way to be able to isolate the acapella from the original track. A lot of times, you will want to make a remix of a song, but you don't have access to the studio acapella. You could reach out to the artist, see if they'll give you the acapella, that's probably the best way to do it. If you don't have that option, then you can go to websites like Reddit or Google and see if you can find the instrumental to a track. And if you do find the instrumental, then let me show you how we could isolate the vocal using the instrumental and the original track. Let's say I have the instrumental. And the original track. What we could do is we could flip the phase of the instrumental, and this is what happens in noise canceling headphones. So for example, these are Bose noise canceling headphones. In order to cancel out noise, you take the phase and flip it. So you create an invert of the waveform. So we'll take the waveforms of the instrumental from the original track and flip them and inverse them. So they'll completely cancel out and create silence. This doesn't always work out 100%, so we just have to play around with it and see how close we can get it to isolating the vocals. What we can do is we can insert the utility plugin onto the instrumental track, and then you can use these two buttons to flip the phase of the left channel. That flips the phase of the left channel, and then flip the phase of the right channel. Now I have the phase flipped on the left and right channel, Let's solo the instrumental with the original track. Every single time I try to talk to you, end up biting my tongue, 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 yeah. Cross my fingers, I don't want to mess this up, cause I think you're really fun, 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 yeah. Started watching all the shows I heard you like, so I had something to say, 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 yeah. When everybody leaves a party, it's just us. We got carried away, away, away. That is isolating the vocal pretty well. If you have access to the instrumental, this is probably going to be the best way to do it if you don't have access to the studio acapella. What you would do is you would then bounce this down into the acapella and then usually some EQing to take out any of the low frequencies can really help fix that vocal and make it sound more clear. If you don't have access to the instrumental, the second way that you can isolate a vocal is using Isotopes RX7. This of course is a paid plugin and if you don't have access to this plugin, I'll show you a free way after we go through the steps of isolating the vocal using the RX-7. You open up the RX-7 as a standalone software. You don't open it up within Ableton. You find your original file, which is going to be the full song here, and then you drag and drop it into the RX-7 interface. Now this is our audio file. You go to Music Rebalance, and then Music Rebalance uses some algorithms to make some changes to the full track. You can select isolate voice and choose aggressive, gentle, or medium. I'll choose aggressive. We can preview it, but it's going to give us a low res preview. And let's select a portion of the track that has some vocals in it. So I have something to say, say, say. 
When everybody leaves a party and she says, we got carried away, away, away. It sounds kind of grainy. Let's go ahead and hit render, and that will give us a higher quality preview. And what happens is now it's going to render the whole track. It might take a minute or two to finish. Once it renders, you can save the new track and then put it into your Ableton session. Now we are back into the Ableton session, and this is going to be the extracted vocal from RX7. Let's label that RX7. Let's go ahead and give this a listen. Every single time I try to talk to you In the part of my tongue, tongue, tongue yeah. Cross my fingers that I want to miss this one Cause I think you're really fun, 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 yeah I'm already still dead I'm swimming in your eye, eye, eye as we give that extracted vocal a listen, it doesn't sound like that RX-7 worked very well. Sometimes it'll work great, sometimes it won't. In this example, it doesn't really sound all that clear. I guess it really depends on what your remix is going to sound like, whether you'd want to use this version of an extracted vocal. You could also add something like I have done on the vocal to clear up some of it. I added an EQH just to take off some of the low end. So that would be the second way. You could try the RX-7 and do the music rebalance and see if you can isolate the vocal and get the vocal clearer and cleaner than this example. It might work better on something where you have the vocal only in the center of the mix. In this song, I have vocals on the left and the right. I have them spread out. So it might work better on something like maybe a hip hop song where you only have a vocal in the center. Now, the third technique is going to be a free option and this is Splitter.ai. This was created by Deezer, which is a music streaming platform. This is the website. It's going to be Splitter.ai. As you can see, you can drop your song here and then it will analyze your song. You have the five stem model and then the two stem model. The five stem model can extract vocals, drums, piano, bass, and other. And then you have the two stem model, which will do an instrumental and a vocal. Once you have it analyzed your song, it will give you a folder to download from WeTransfer. And then you download it and open up the folder. And this is what it looks like. You have the bass, the drums, other piano and vocals. What I did is I just selected all these and dragged them into my Ableton session. And now we can see that I have all the stems here separated out. Let's just go ahead and give the vocals a listen and see how well it did with extracting these vocals. Every single time I try to talk to you And I'm biting my tongue, 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 yeah Cross my fingers that I want to mess this up Cause I think you're really fun, 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 yeah Started watching all the shows I heard you like So I have something to say, say, say A little better than the RX-7 Still not super great, but I think it's an improvement on the RX-7 What I do think is interesting is that it extracted the instrumental So I could listen to the drums <laughs> or the bass. And then I could just select all of the stems except for the vocals and listen to the instrumental. So now that you extract the instrumental, what you could do is go back to that first method. I could take the instrumental that Splitter created and then inverse the phase on the instrumental created by Splitter, and then use that with the original track and see if I can extract the vocal that way. So let's check out if that works. Here is the Splitter instrumental. I have the utility plugin on it. Let's inverse the phase of the left and right channel. And let's go ahead and play this with the original track. It shows I heard you like, so I have something to say, say, say. When everybody leaves a party and she says, we got carried away, away, away. I'm just swimming in your eye, eye, eye. Been waiting all night for you to make a move. Make it with my time, time, time. Yeah. Will you send me home and take me to your room? I think that last way is probably the cleanest way to get the acapella. If you don't have the studio instrumental, you can use the instrumental that Splitter extracted and flip the phase on it and then play it along with the original track. So those are three different options of how you can isolate vocals from a track. 
they're not always going to be perfect. They're always going to have some artifacts. But if you manipulate vocals in an interesting way, then you can usually come up with something pretty cool if you're making a remix. I hope that was helpful. I hope you learned something. I hope you learned a new way of how to isolate vocals from a track. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel because that will help you stay updated with future videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.